We're Nat and James, and this is our sailboat, Zephyr. She's taken us all over the world and been our home for three and a half years. With over 20,000 nautical miles under her keel and our sights firmly set on sailing around the world, we're on a mission to make some vital upgrades and much needed repairs. So join us every week for a new video. If you would like to support our journey, a great way is by clicking the subscribe button. Enjoy the video, guys. You're a beautiful sight in the summer night. Last week, we traveled from Kent Island to Rhode Island to meet up with the super talented team at Total Boat. Once there, we worked on our sailboat countertops and got them ready to start my design the next day. So today is day two at the Total Boat headquarters and we are ready to start the next step in the making of our brand new epoxy countertops. Yeah. First things first, we sand our countertops so that the epoxy we apply today has something to bond to. After that's done, I practice one more time before getting ready for the real thing. I made a decision to go with an extra blue that we didn't have yesterday. So now we've got a darker blue, then it transitions into the lighter blue, then the green. So just getting more complicated, but the end result is pretty nice, right? <laughs> Once we have wiped down the countertops, it's time to take one last look at them and get mixing our epoxy and colors. We start by mixing our resin and hardener in a one-to-one -one ratio. Tabletop epoxy. Hardener, we need this one first. <laughs> <laughs> I was concentrating there. It's time, it's time. We're just putting the colors in now. That's what I wanted. I, know. I mean, the marble's still an option, right? Yes. <laughs> nope, not after this. This is perfect. It's got one more to go. Stop it. This is the easy one, too. Yeah. <laughs> it only gets worse. Wowzers. Wow. Now leave it. Oh, the cells. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she got so excited. She's like, I did it. <laughs> Exactly how I envisioned it. <laughs> it's exactly how I envisioned it. Like the more cells in that color. Like I never see that. It's very. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Did you get that on camera? <laughs> She's One a more pro. Time. So you're gonna start doing classes for us. 
And Leah works with all the resin artists, so she <laughs> oh, really? works at yeah. every day. Yeah. Did you <laughs> pop the bubbles on the whole thing? No. Okay. No. I see some over Let's here, but maybe we can... Do the low setting on the heat and go up high so it doesn't make okay. up. Now that the sink countertop is done, it's on to the next one, the fridge. I follow the exact same process with the same colours for this one. What's she doing, James? She is crushing it. Like, I, admittedly, I was a little apprehensive about yes, this. Yes, you but were. But this is just exceeding all of my expectations. Oh, look at that way. It's going, Ooh. it's going. I like that. I like it. I'm so impressed. Thank you. All right guys, so we are sitting down here. This is like the media kind of room here. Interview in, room. In total boat. Total boat. Uh, we're sitting down with Justin, who is this wicked, wicked media. creative dude. Um, media guy. Yeah, he is awesome. Um, but yeah, we're doing this like rapid fire question thing. It's It was awesome. so much fun. Yeah, so uh, make sure you go onto the Total Boat website, check it out. I'm sure it'll be amazing to see. Um, at the very least, it would be absolutely hilarious to watch us flounder under all these questions. Yeah, yeah. So, and it, if you want to know like really odd things about us, watch it. It's, <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we are going to go back downstairs, check out our tables, because we have to pour some leveling epoxy. tabletop epoxy to fill in the uh, negative space around the waves that Nat just created. So exciting. <laughs> She put again, down. No, completely <laughs> unceremoniously. Oh, I totally am. Yeah, didn't wait for Justin. No, sorry. I am doing the clear tabletop epoxy, and we are just covering all the wood here so that it's completely sealed and so that it levels out with my waves that I've done. Wow. My fingers oh, close. That's slow motion. It's so satisfying. All right, what are we doing? We are popping the bubbles now, so we're using the torch to get them all disappearing and help with the self-leveling. You can kind of see lightly all the bubbles are starting to pop as we wave the torch over it, making sure not to concentrate in one area for too long so we don't overheat the epoxy. Otherwise it can start to smoke and that's not what we want. And that's the end of day two. We leave the epoxy to cure overnight. That same afternoon, we take the opportunity to sail with our friends Zane and Shivani on their boat, Heritage. For all the sailing enthusiasts out there, these boats may ring a bell, as they aren't just any type of boat. Heritage and Intrepid were built in 1970 for the America's Cup. Heritage sailed a close campaign for the 1970s Cup, but was eliminated by Intrepid in the Defenders series. This here is our Captain Shivani, the most badass woman sailor I know. Man, wow. Really nice. How, how's the breeze out there? 
It's lighter than I thought. Yeah, uh, cool. We could have put the whole thing up, but we're gonna. Do I shake it? it? Cool. So cool. I've never been on this type of sailboat. Jesus Christ. We get to see Newport from the water. All right, guys, third day back at Total Boat, and we are ready to sand, wipe, sellotape, and mix some Mako Epoxy to cover the entire surface area of our countertops. We start off by mixing our Mako Epoxy, pouring it, and scraping. What? <laughs> Once we cover the entire surface area with Maker Epoxy, we make sure no dust can settle on it. Even the owner, Mike, gets involved in making sure Zephyr's countertop stays safe. You nailed it. <laughs> we start with that. You did. Yes. No, well done to everybody. I think everybody did such an incredible job and brought it all together. And we are done. You're done. Yeah. And you nailed it. Woo! <laughs> Teamwork. Uh. Uh, Justin too. Justin. <laughs> <laughs> My friends. Thank you so much. That was Honestly, a lot of fun. It was guys. so much fun. Thank you for all your help. Thank you no for everything. No problem. Oh, I'll see you soon. Oh, yeah. That's it. It's a wrap. Three days at Total Boat, amazing countertops, amazing staff, the most incredible products I think we've ever worked with. Yeah, and, and I, I've got to say again, the team, we're friends yeah. with them now, and everybody's so personable, they helped out. Um, I think that was the best part of it all, was being involved here with the team, having the team's input. Absolutely. And we just had so much fun. Yeah, the countertops are Badass, don't yes. get me wrong, Nat did an incredible job and they are going to look so sick. But I think you're 100% right, the best part has actually been working with the total. I would group. just come down here just to hang out with them. Yeah, absolutely. N do no work, just come down and hang out. Yep. Amazing. All right, <laughs> we got to drive back to Annapolis, 10 hours, here we go. We leave the countertops to cure and we head back to Zephyr. Two weeks later, we receive a massive package with our countertops. In order for our sink countertop to fit, we have to drill some holes and take the tie rods out. Okay. All right, as you can see, we've got the countertop sitting on here, tie rods in, shrouds are all tight. So the next thing we need to do is we're gonna put some Gorilla wood glue between the countertop and the cupboards, and then we're gonna screw underneath and bind the whole countertop. Then it's time to throw away our old countertops and bring in the new. This project would have not been possible without these inspiring people. Kristen and Megan, who were full of expertise and made every minute fun. Justin, who always believed in us and made us smile every single day. Leah, who provided ongoing encouragement throughout the project. And last but not least, Mike, who is always up for a laugh and we can't wait to go foiling with you.